Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jaser. In this video, I'm going to solve number 29, uh, implement a sync helper sequence from bfe.dev. Let's take a look at the description. This problem is similar to 11, what is composition, create a pipe. You are asked to implement a sync function helper sequence, which chains up a sync functions like what pipes does. All sync functions have the following interface, the callback, this one is error, and this one is data. So this is the callback and uh, a sync function takes a callback and then the data. Uh, so this callback, uh, so a sync function processes the data and then trigger this callback, right? Mm -hmm. Your sequence should accept a sync function array and chain them up by passing new data to the next fu a sync function through data in the callback. Well, wow, it's kind of Mind twisting, let's take a look at the example. Suppose we have an async func, which just multiply a number by two. So this is async times two. So when there's a timeout, it's not sync, it's async. Async and set timeout. And then we call back null. The first one is error. And then this is the new data. And we get the data, we, po we process it and pass the data uh, to the callback, right? Yeah. And your sequence should be able to accomplish this. A sync times four, sequence times two times two, and then a sync times four, error data, we console, console log the data, it should be four, one. Okay, so, um, the first thing we need to, to understand that is sequence should return a function, right? return the function and this function actually uh, receive uh, accept the same uh, types for the original async function this is new async function this is the callback it's the same right this is the initial data yeah let's first write it down return a function and this is the callback and this is the data right this is the this is what we should return so when this function is called, uh, what should we do? We need actually for the for the a normal case, we need to uh, trigger each function in this function array one by one, right? So when that function is done, we need to trigger the next one. This kind of action could be uh, abstracted to a single uh, function, single step, and then we can uh, call this function recursively. So let's define the function called, uh, let's say call next one, call next func. We don't do the implement dimension yet. And then, so we have this kind of action called next function. We just then we could call, call it, right? Yeah, we call it. And then in the call next function, what the generate means, if error, we just uh, call back uh, right away, right? Right away. If not error, recursively call, recursively call next function. So in order to know what the next function is, we need to know what the current function is, right? So generally, uh, so obviously we need to keep track of current function index. We set it to uh, call next. So current function should be, hmm, wait a minute, call next function. The next should be uh, current, oh, we just said next function index. Next function is zero. Okay. And then we need to pass in the uh, data, right? Yeah, we need to pass, we call next function with the data, right? Um, yeah, so we need to pass in the data. This is the data. Mm -hmm. Pass the data. Okay, so the next function would be funks uh, next func index, right? Yeah, and then, hmm, wait a minute. The actually we set it to the error. 
the callback is an, will be okay. Okay. So the next function is a callback, right? The the callback, yeah. And then we call it. Wait a minute. The error. We process. Oh no, no. Next function is not a callback. It's a sync function with a callback. Yeah. So we call it next function, and call the uh, the callback should be if it is error, right? And this is the new data, new data, and we process it with this data passed in. Okay. If there is error, then we, as it says, we trigger the callback right away, right? So here, we trigger a callback. The callback should take an error, and data we should took undefined right away. If not error, if not error, we we tr call next function, right? If not error, okay, we trigger next function with this a new data, and when we already get the next function, we should increment the next function index. And when will this end? It ends when there is no more next function. So if next function index is it is the uh, uh, func.nth, then it means when no more function is to be called. Okay, we return. And we would trigger the callback with no error. So hmm? uh, it doesn't say we, what we should re set the error. It said undefined and the data. I think it should work, right? Return function. Yeah, I think it should work. Let's submit. Great. Perfect. One time pass. Um, okay, this is my solution. Mm, how should I say it? Uh, recursion. Yeah. So this is it. This is it. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye.